everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and today I want to talk about thumbnails for your videos. Now, as you can see here in my video manager, this first video has an absolutely horrendous uh, thumbnail. It's just a picture of me kind of leaning over to put something on a table. Now, if you notice down here on these two videos, you can see that I actually have a rather you know, nice thumbnail with some information on it, and I want to show you how that works. Now before you can actually change your thumbnail to something that you want it to be, you actually have to become a YouTube partner. And the way you do that is normally if you're not a partner, when you log in, there'll be a blue bar up here that just says, uh, you know, become a partner and you click the button. Uh, if you're not seeing that bar, you can actually go into your settings and into monetization. And by enabling your account for monetization, it will actually set your account up as a partner account, which will allow you to do things such as schedule your posts, uh, set default input, and uh, do things like changing your thumbnail to uh, a custom thumbnail. So now let's go back to the video manager and we'll show you exactly how this works. Okay, so if you go back into your video manager and you choose one of your videos and hit the edit button, you will see that if you're a partner, at the bottom of your three thumbnails here, it'll say custom thumbnail, and the maximum file size is two megabytes. So all you have to do is click that button to, to uh, upload a custom thumbnail. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to create a custom thumbnail inside Photoshop so that you have a nice one that you can use. So let's flip over to Photoshop. Okay, inside Photoshop here, you can see I've actually already got a potential thumbnail open here. Now you'll notice that it's actually a, a pretty large file and if we look at the actual file size you'll see that I chose to do 1280 by 720. Now when you look at the thumbnail you realize that hey this is a pretty <laughs> pretty small image so why would I bother to do a large thumbnail? Well the reason is because of this over here. When you embed a video onto a page unless it auto loads and starts playing you, you will get a large version of your thumbnail in here. So you want to have one that's high enough resolution that if somebody embeds it at full size, it's going to look halfway decent. So let's go back into Photoshop. So again, I've created a, an image that's 1280 by 720. And so we'll just hit OK on that. And for this particular one here, all I've done is this is a, an image that I got off of the web because this is a... Uh, a video about the Olo clip for the iPhone, so I actually used just a, a large image and some information about the Olo clip. Now, on underneath that, you'll actually see that I've actually got another one that I've created for one of my other videos, and this one I've actually brought in a picture of myself, put a title here, website, and just threw in a uh, top secret stamp there just for fun. So there we go. Now all you have to do is save your image. So in this case, we're going to save as. And it can be up to two megabytes. So we're going to do a JPEG, which will be much smaller than, uh, than that anyway. So um, we'll just save this as Olo Clip Thumbnail as a JPEG and hit save. And you can see here, we've got, I've got it set to 8, which is 104 kilobytes, which is not very large. So we'll hit OK. And we'll head back over to YouTube. And now we'll hit Custom Thumbnail. And we'll go to the bottom here. Look for Olo Clip. There we go, Olo Clip Thumbnail. Open it. And there you have your new thumbnail. So we'll choose that, make sure it's selected, and hit Save Changes. So when we head back to the video manager, you'll see now our thumbnail has the Olo Clip image in there. And the great thing about this is, like I said, if you look at this one here, where we've done the same thing, and I'll flip over to a, a quick little program here that allows me to embed a video, you can see that in the large thumbnail here, when it's not playing, it shows that thumbnail. So that's why we want to do a nice large version of it. So that's how you will upload a custom image and create a custom image to use as a thumbnail on your videos. Now don't abuse this too much. There was a time in history where 
YouTube allowed us to uh, to do our own thumbnails, and they took that away because of uh, some of the things people were doing. So just um, you know, don't go too crazy with it. Just put something that's useful that represents the video, and uh, you should be okay. 